Welcome to my second vlog. I'm officially on summer break. I finished my exam yesterday. Very, very relieved to be done with that. So on to summertime now. And to kick it off, we are headed to a Giants game. I got my Giants shirt on in the city. We're gonna go check out uh, the downtown area a little bit, find some parking, and then enjoy a beautiful day game out at at and Park. My project for the day is working on making a couple different project bags for my knitting here with my mom. We are using the oh the pattern that was posted online by Nicole at Huloco, so we're gonna give that a try. And I uh, found some cute fabric that I like to go together. Uh, should have enough to make a couple different project bags, which will be fun. And then I also have some other fabric for different pattern that I'll show you guys once we get to it. Um, but come along and see what we're gonna make. Oops. Oh, in my eyes. Uh oh. <laughs> Good morning. It is Saturday, and the crafting around here just does not stop. Last night I worked on blocking my cameo shawl, so I did another round of that this morning. It was quite large. I had to use a little piece of cardboard to get the corner on there. And then this morning I also weighed out, on our little fancy kitchen scale, my two equal size skeins for my two at a time socks. I finally got the right size needles. Um, so all that is underway. And then yesterday I finished two project bags for my knitting projects and I'm making another one just because I have extra fabric. So it's gonna be a good day. I think it's gonna be nice and warm out. Yesterday it was actually, um, raining and foggy so it was a perfect excuse to stay in and do a bunch of um, indoor projects. Yeah, hopefully you're going to get out on the mountain this afternoon for a little hike or something and uh, should be should be fun, should be a good day. everyone, so it's Sunday, it's Father's Day, and um, my mom and I went out for a run this morning, my dad went out for a bike ride. It is gorgeous weather here, so we are all just enjoying being outside. Um, this afternoon we're kind of hanging out at home, watching lots of sports, the Warriors play tonight. And besides that, I went down to the local, um, to my local yarn shop craft store, and I wanted to give you an update on some of my projects. My first project, is a project bag. Uh, I showed you a little bit of the process of how I've been making these, 
but it's been fun. On the sewing note, I also made a little cinch bag here with some other fabric that I really liked. I found both of these fabrics down at once around. Um, and what's fun about this one is it's completely reversible. This pattern was online but had minimal instructions so my mom and I had a little bit of a learning curve. There are some mistakes on this one that I, it'll probably be just me that recognizes them but um, I think my next one will be a little bit more successful. So picked up some more fabric to make some more bags. Got these two for another reversible bag. Uh, the nice thing is they don't necessarily have to match, just kind of look decent together. And then I got a little bit of a darker, darker one to go together. So here's an update on the baby sweater that I've been working on. It actually has one full sleeve. The bottom cuff is completely finished. And I use a new bind off. Uh, most of my bind offs tend to be really tight even if I try to keep them loose. So I tried a loose bind off that has a yarn over between the first stitch that you pull over the second stitch. So that helped a lot. Working on the second sleeve, I think I'll be done in no time. And then I think the last thing I have to do is make a little bit of a cuff for the neckline and then I'll try to block that. I did have my first blocking experience a couple days ago, blocking my cameo shawl. The steaming technique actually worked really well. It blocked out beautifully. I did it once and then let it sit overnight and then did it again in the morning and it was dry in about 30 minutes. Doing some hexi puffs in my spare time when driving around in the car around town. Not driving, being a passenger, of course. So I'm also going to be casting on a project, hopefully soon, for my friends who are getting married in about a week, a week from yesterday actually, uh, making them a little wedding present with my Woolen Gang yarn that I got that I showed you guys, both the purple and the um, TV static colors. I think I'm going to make them some cute coordinated dish towels um, to use that goes with their college colors, so that should be fun. survived my trip to the DMV, passed my driver's test, which I had no idea I was gonna have to take. I got the maximum <laughs> amount wrong that I could with, while still passing, which thank God I still passed. Got a good picture. According to the lady, I have a nice smile. It's always a good day when you survive the DMV. So now I think the rest of the day we're going to do a little bit more crafting, uh, work on my two at a time socks and head down to the beach in a little bit because it is gorgeous out about I think 85 degrees today, which is a heat wave for us here in Northern California. morning at the ungodly hour of before seven and I'm up because my parents and I are driving down the coast this morning. We're gonna head to Monterey and go check out Carmel. We love the Monterey Bay Aquarium so we're gonna go see that for a little bit early this morning. Try to beat the crowds, not trample children, and also not be trampled by children. Um, I think with the new Finding Dory movie it could be a little bit of a zoo, yes pun intended, um, a zoo at the aquarium this morning so we'll see how that is. So I'm officially done knitting the baby sweater. I finished up the ribbing here this morning and now I have about a bajillion different ends to weave in, which is like my personal hell. So that's going to take a while and then I'm going to try to go ahead and block this today before I fly out tomorrow morning. So we'll see how this goes. So little baby sweaters out here drying and it has quite a wonderful view. Beautiful 
beautiful day out. It's a nice sunshine to get it nice and dry and blocked. I am back in Chicago. I got back this afternoon. Um, the last few days have been a total whirlwind. I've got a couple little updates to wrap up this vlog and the next one will start probably as of tomorrow. Today is my last day of summer break, my two weeks of summer break. I officially start my third year of medical school tomorrow, which is crazy and exciting and I get a pager. That's excitement part one. On Friday, as you saw, I flew to Detroit for one of my classmates' weddings. It was uh, such a fun weekend, such a fun group of people, a great celebration, beautiful location. The weather turned out to be uh, just gorgeous, and their wedding was so much fun, and I'm so happy for them. So that was a blast. A little bit tired today, um, so my other classmate and I drove back from Michigan area took most of the day today, but I got a lot of knitting done. So a couple things that I did um, the last few days I was home, I made some more little reversible bags. I made this one bigger to hold slightly bigger projects. And then I also made this one. I think this one might actually be my favorite, These this color combo. I put some um, interfacing in this one to make it a little bit more firm so it'll sit up, which is kind of nice. Last time, I think I updated you guys, I was still struggling a little bit with unwinding all of the two at a time sock yarn that made a huge gigantic mess, but I finally got the hang of, got the hang of it and I'm off and running with my two at a time socks. I'm really loving it. At first, I couldn't quite figure out how to position the socks, but solved that problem. And now I'm just working along with these Hermione Everyday Socks. I'm really loving the uh, subtlety of the pattern and it's easy and it's easy to put up and pick, put down and pick back up. Um, and this yarn is just so much fun. So this is Twitter padded from, Twitter padded from Qloco. Uh, I think this might be one of the first time I've worked with speckled yarn. I really enjoyed it. You never really know what stitch what color the next stitch is going to be so it's been great so checking along with these that's kind of what i have on the needles right now um now that i've i'm done with the baby sweater i think i showed you guys um i just need to put the buttons on here turned out super cute i really need to get going on my hexi puffs i think i got maybe five or six done when i was on break so that needs to be picked back up again this next week i got my orientation so that should be pretty low key. Then I will be working in the hospital starting July 5th, which is crazy. So I'm very excited. Thanks again for watching. Um, I hope you had fun checking out San Francisco and Marin with me on my uh, trip back home and that you guys stay tuned for Allie's next vlog and my next vlog. And we've got some exciting new content coming up. Um, I don't want to spoil it or give away any surprises, but that should be really fun. So keep an eye out for that. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.